It started in the Tradewinds parking lot, Tradewinds Motor in the parking lot in 1990. For, uh, for four years, it was called the Tradewinds Blues Bash, where I did two national acts and four local regional acts. Uh, then in 1994, moved across the street and uh, got a couple of partners and we turned it to the North Atlantic Blues Festival and it's been uh, growing in uh, every year since. Uh, this year we're doing a tribute to Chicago on Saturday, uh, uh, which is uh, something I've been wanting to do for a lot of years and everybody playing on Saturday is from Chicago. I think uh, uniqueness of being in uh, where it's located, downtown Rockland, it's, it's in Maine, it's July. Uh, it's great blues, great music, and of course we, we can serve on lobsters as well. <laughs> I, I can't play a note in my life, <laughs> I never have, and uh, uh, it's kind of uh, uh, interesting as you mentioned these guitars. Uh, of course the polka dot one for blues fans, they'll recognize that immediately. That's kind of a body guy signature guitar and uh, body presented that to me. Uh, these two guitars here were from the Blues Music Awards, uh, the 25th and 26th anniversary shows, which is basically the Blues Grammys. I always need more people because you always need new fans. I mean, the blues fans and older audience. Uh, the average age, you know, uh, to the shows probably is 50 and above. And so uh, by bringing in some of the newer artists in the blues world, we're educating some of the younger audience to come to the blues festival. And that's my audience of, you know, the next 10 years from now. So uh, definitely always need new fans. And of course, uh, we have basically kept the ticket prices in the same category, you know, the same price range for a number of years and so as long as we can keep more new people coming, we don't have to raise the ticket prices and so that's been a good thing. It's good to be here for the very first time. We certainly would like to thank Paul and the gang for getting us here.